Hey folks, Andy Tillo here. I'm gonna show you how you can get a Boomi integration process up and running soup to nuts in less than five minutes. Let's take a look. On the homepage, boomi.com is where you start off with. If you have your credentials, you click this login. You've already gotten your credentials from your rep. When you log in now, it will present you with this screen. Something that looks like this where you have uh, your uh, account up here, kind of uh, some of your help guides if you wanna follow along or uh, understand some of the more intricate details of the platform and specifically over here kind of our key pieces that we roll out You may have seen the flow video already getting started that I put together uh, We're going to talk today about just straight integration Integration will be able to kind of tie something together uh, If it's your first time in the platform, you can kind of figure it out uh, By watching this video. So the thing that I'd recommend at the beginning browse process library down here in the bottom left corner Clicking on that guy brings up a bunch of processes that we've already pre-built for you. So a lot of the customers come in and say, hey, I need something for a product and component hub example or API package data. Um, pick the thing. Uh, you're not gonna break anything by installing any of these. So when you um, pull them up, install a handful, install a few, install a little, knock yourself out. But one of the ones I was gonna do is a zip file, one that I can show you. Everyone kind of understands the zip file. So we're just gonna install this guy. Installing this is gonna say, where do you wanna install it? Again, it's your process, your setup here. You can create a new table here. Parent folder, we'll put it in there and we'll call this one uh, zip files. Installing this will create a folder over here on the left-hand side with those files that you need to run this process. It finishes it up, installation complete, and click on view process. The idea here is that uh, everyone cannot kind of understand how zip files work. It's kind of uh, a bunch of files need to be shrunk down into something else. So the same way that you saw um, in the flow demo, there's shapes over here on the left-hand side that you can kind of drag onto the map. So we pre-populated all these guys on here for you. So in this example, what we're gonna see is uh, creating something uh, that spits out a zip file at the end. The key piece in here is this sub-generate test document. When you click on this guy, this kind of is a process that'll just um, send some information over and create a test data set right here. So you can add a bunch of stuff into this message shape option and it creates a uh, zip document that essentially says return those documents back to the parent process, which is back to this guy to continue setting file name, zipping the files and then doing something with it. The one thing I'm gonna do here is turn off this FTP because I don't, uh, you don't need to connect an FTP yourself. The key piece of what you're gonna see in the future is this is gonna be used a lot for you. This connect button is synonymous with this guy over here. So something that you pulled off from over here is one of the things you're connecting to at the end. So everything that you see here, this is the list it hooks into and you can tie it together. So just to show this one working out of the box, we unhook that piece there, lock and edit and save this guy. When we test this, we get prompted with an Atom Cloud here. This is the Java runtime that kicks it off. We have uh, Boomi houses this for you. You don't have to install anything on your own. Running this guy now, as you'll see, it went through the start shape, the branch, and went down this list of things. All these little buttons that you see turning green, that means that it was successful in its path. We unhooked this guy up here because we didn't want to send it anywhere, but the end result is this. Like if you click on the op option in there, you'll see what the data is down here in this log section. It tells you everything that it went through and how it tied it together, and this shape source data tells you what was in the path. So from this step, it says, hey, I found this document. What was the document that was uh, containing? Well, here's the zipped version of what you saw. So it's the uh, zipped version of the stuff that you sent in there. And this is where the beauty of Boomi comes in. After this shape, that's where you can send it to anywhere you'd like. So that piece there could have went anywhere uh, after this um, connection shape. It could have went to FTP or pick your uh, NetSuite, Salesforce, ServiceNow, local database, wherever you want it to go, that's where it kind of ties it together. So just to dig in a little bit further there, each one of these steps is this one went down this sub generate test button sub generate test documents button. You can follow that and see where the path went there. So when I click process call here, you'll continue to go down that path because it picks it up in the document that, that it created. As it's loading these results, it knows that it had some data coming in here and created this path. It says, hey, I'm gonna make that test data. I'm gonna split it up into individual documents. I'm gonna send it back to the original process. So clicking back to this guy, it again will show you the path that it took and it'll return those three documents that it just created in the step before and then split up. And that one takes you back through this path. As you go down there, you can kind of build it out. A second arm of this um, setup here, you don't have to create 
uh, process library ones. Anything that you run in here is your own. You won't break anything. It's your own environment that kind of ties in together over here on the left side. So if you wanted to create your own just test document, click on the new button up there, create a new process called just testing shapes. Something like that. You can create a new shape in here as well, the same way. When you create a new shape, it says, where do you want to start from? So each of these different pieces here kind of will uh, treat the data differently. If you want to start originally connecting to a uh, environment, um, click the connector. Most of the stuff for tests here, we can click this no data because you want to be able to um, start with a uh, blank slate. But essentially this, this has that same uh, list of um, applications that we by default connect to and can grab information from. We'll start with a no data shape here and just say okay. It's gonna say nothing is in this shape. We're gonna create some data to throw in here. Same way that you uh, saw before, you can drag and drop things onto the canvas. This is where you can just put some data in here. So if you wanted to test something out to say, test data, this is data coming through as test. You can throw in variables. We can get down that path later or you can look at the one you created to kind of test it out there. But clicking okay here, wiring those things together, you now have created a set of data that you can send somewhere. When you put the stop shape in, it doesn't process it in that shape itself. You go to here, you have to stop it. So data comes in, test data comes through here, and we'll say where it's going next. We could wire up some other uh, instance, some other platform in here if we wanted to connect it to a database or a disk, FTP, pick the thing that you would want to connect it to. But for this test, we'll, uh, the simplest version of it's right here. Saving that, testing that, running it again. As you'll see now, the data came, uh, nothing here. The test data was submitted to it here and finished here. So now the shape source data shows that data that you had in it. This is the test data. So you can put this in, uh, the data that you have here, this could be a, um, uh, an email thread. It could be a XML document, whatever you want to do. The idea here is that it's passing that data to and further a next step. So you don't have to worry about any JavaScript, any custom coding. This is where we, um, uh, really shine from Boomi, that data now can go anywhere. So you can, the start shape could be ingesting data, it could be listening to something, it could be passing data on to somewhere else and kind of rolling it through. So the two things that I'd say take away from here, play with it in your environment here. There's nothing breaking from you in your environment here that will ruin anything. The best way to get in here is just to kind of play around and understand where things go. So process library down here, great place to start. Grab anything you want, install all of them. Frankly, it doesn't, uh, 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 hurt to try them out. Try the process library, test it in your own environment, you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching.